Good morning everybody and welcome to this week's Headmasters blog. It's Friday the 20th of May and greetings from what is a pretty grey, overcast and misly Epsom. I always joke that it never rains in Epsom, the sun is always shining, but I'm afraid to say that is not true of today and we are in the throes of preparing for Wellington House Day this afternoon so it has certainly been a trial for Mrs Lindley and her team to try and plan for today given the inclement forecast and now that that has come to pass we shall improvise, we shall be creative and we shall make sure that the boys and girls still enjoy all the fun and clamour of the house day after lunch. So a big thank you to Mrs Dinley and the Wellington House staff for being so flexible and making sure that everything will still go ahead as planned. This week has also been fantastic to see the Year 9 boys really get to grips with the first residential uh, that we've had for three years now due to the pandemic. And of course, this is a national award winning trip. It was uh, voted by a panel of very esteemed judges to be the best in the country um, just a couple of years ago. And it is very much uh, something that's close to Mr Mitchell's heart. And he has ploughed in an enormous amount of time and effort in the itinerary for this year. And of course, this is about the making of modern Britain. It is about visiting the places and uh, learning about the people and the, the cultures that have informed the country that we live in today. And of course, a democratic country, one where freedom of speech is uh, very, very precious. And although it is something we take for granted, I'm sure that the Year 9 cohort will have come away from this week with a much greater understanding and perception of how and why we are so fortunate to live in the UK today. So a big thank you to Mr Mitchell, Mr March, Mr Hendry, who accompanied that trip. Um, and I know that at one point they were starstruck. I think they were in Liverpool. They'd been to the docks. They'd been to the International Museum of Slavery. And they went to visit the cabin, of course, where the Beatles made their name, only to find legendary rock star Brian Adams propping up the bar and he duly obliged with some uh, photo opportunities for the boys, probably most of whom had never heard of who he was, um, but certainly the staff did. So do look out for those photos in the newsletter and the report next week. And I know that the, uh, the, the form groups with Mr Mitchell will be putting on an assembly in Christchurch next week, which I hope will uh, go some way to affirming exactly what they've learnt beyond the classroom this week. Uh, of course, very important life skills and teamwork to boot. Looking ahead next week, we are very excited about the Platinum Jubilee celebrations on Thursday. Uh, we obviously took the bank holiday in lieu before half term in spring, but this is an opportunity for us to recognise that for most of us of a certain age, uh, anyone born, in fact, after Thursday the 26th of uh, uh, February uh, 1952, that the Queen has been a constant throughout all of our lives uh, in a very calm, unruffled manner. Uh, she has held at times, I think, the very fabric of our society together, notwithstanding some uh, enormous tragedies for her and her family along the way. Um, on this occasion, we hope to recognise um, our appreciation for all that she has done being such a fantastic role model. Um, please make sure that your child comes in in red, white and blue. We hope to have secured enough uh, bunting to make the school feel really special. We're going to have um, an outdoor lunch in a sort of a tea party style. We've got a band coming in and lots of activities throughout the day. And I know that uh, you should have been written to by now about the potential for us to um, uh, to develop and to bury some time capsules as well for uh, some unwitting people to find in the future. So lots, lots, lots going on um, and a lot to look forward to next week, that is for sure. On Wednesday, a big thank you to uh, Miss Patel, Mrs O'Shea, who talked together with some of the Silver Expedition veterans about their recent trip and extolled the virtues of the Duke of Edinburgh programme on a related note. Um, certainly the charity that we're supporting for the Jubilee is the Prince's Trust and of course the Duke of Edinburgh uh, scheme is a, a very important one and symbolic for the royal family as well and it's something that I wholeheartedly endorse. Definitely the ability to uh, have a bronze, silver and especially a gold award uh, scheme um, certificate for your CV moving forward to sixth form university and even with employment 
is a really an important currency and one that I would urge all young people to undertake with avidity and with classic Kingswood House endeavour. Finally, I'm very pleased to welcome Max and his family to Kingswood House. Uh, Max and his family are refugees from the Ukraine. Uh, we are working as a school together with uh, a, a charity called Surrey Stands with Ukraine and we have offered uh, shelter and education for Max moving forward um, and I'm sure that all of the uh, peer group and families in the school will endeavour to make him and his family feel very welcome at what is such a desperate time for all of those uh, from uh, Ukraine. So. Very pleased and in some small way we're able to do our bit to try and help and uh, really show some public benefit. Dispatches this week. Uh, a big well done to all of reception for being so well behaved on their outing to Chessington Sea Life Centre. Uh, well done to everybody in reception for their work in PE in advance of sports day. Uh, Maya has caught the eye in uh, Mrs Lambert's class for making some great figures from dry air foam of himself. Very creative. Hugh Hunter has been nominated by Miss Smith for some great thinking in RS. And Kieran Pantlin being very helpful tidying up the class after every lesson for Madame Swift. Harry Roberts has shown good focus on his work recently, particularly in science. And Max Whiting has caught the eye for his excellent explanation of noun and adjective agreements in French. Well done to Ryan Batia and Cyril brockett deacon Really good knowledge about conservation and environmental dangers in science. Lady Rose Mill being very grown up, trying her best to be a good friend to everybody, says Mrs Lindley. Lots of experimenting and write-up work from Finney Newman and Benji Adams for Mr Barrett this week. Uh, Max Kenner working hard, showing good focus and a really positive attitude. And Dolly Morris, uh, once again, well done Dolly, you are being really consistent, keep it up. Sam Ferreira Lay and Oscar Emmett have been excellent prep monitors for Madame Swift. Uh, Mrs Wraith is very pleased with Year 6 in general for their work on repeat patterns. And Darcy Shand is working in mass with a can-do attitude. Darcy, very pleased to hear that from Mr Clark. Darren Usa, Tommy Van Mellets, great revision sessions from Mr Barrett. And Tommy Hickman, really good French assessment results. A grade 9, no less. Fantastic work, Toms. Uh, Dylan Newman, Freddie Taylor and Kishan all doing really well for their careers enrichment work for Miss Black. Uh, James Miller, an excellent RS exam result for Mrs Weston. Gabriel Clark, really good effort in the French exam. Max Podoritic and Kishan, really good achievement and focus for Mr Barrett. And Alyssa continues to approach school with a really mature, grown-up attitude. Well done. George Dyson, good maturity from you with his position of responsibility application, says Miss Patel. James Dowling, another nomination for French assessment result. Another grade nine for Madame Swift. Well done to Finney Rosendale, Dylan Newman, Oscar Elam and Ethan Boll for their maths exam results. Uh, Harrison West, Finley Rosendale and Dan Giles have a nomination for being respectful of uh, the GCSE exams whilst they were ongoing uh, and lining up with real diligence. Well done to all of Year 7 for their maths results, but a special well done for Stanley and Henry Rusko who performed particularly well, reports Mrs Lindley. Lauren has found the exams pretty stressful, like lots of them in that year group, but she persevered throughout. Well done, Lauren. Please keep that up. Sam Carroll showed great kindness to a pupil in year four when he needed someone to talk to uh, and played Lego with him, says Miss Foster. Eddie Collins went above and beyond to track down someone's oyster card after he found it on the floor at London Zoo uh, and actually found him in the gorilla house and gave it back. Uh, Eddie, I think that is fantastic and worthy, not just of a nomination in medicine dispatches, but you can come and see me for a special sticker, please. Avanish Gunjal and Ayan Shafiq have been working brilliantly. They're laying the foundation for a great start in GCSE geography, says Mr Lordy. Uh, Zachary Howes working hard for Mrs Lee, Tobias Cox and Arlo Saywell, lots of endeavour in uh, science for Miss Black. Lucas staple Sheesby, lots of contributions to PSHE in a very positive manner, reports Madame Taylor. Ollie Dimmock, very good table manners at lunch, says Mr Barrett. Well done, Ollie. That is a very good skill. You can come and see me for a sticker as well. Mr Sitdale's Year 8 Maths Group, injecting healthy competition into Friday's countdown session 3-1. Uh, Mr Sitdale apparently won that bout, but I have confidence in you for the next time round, boys and girls. Um, KB Wood, Henry Trino, Mikey Sargis, lots of focus and pace on their algebraic equations last week. 
Uh, Mr Westcott and Miss Highland, very pleased with everybody who represented the school at the Swimming Gala at Belmont last week. Every single one of them represented the school positively, wanted to achieve their personal bests and show great endeavour and teamwork. Well done to you and thank you very much to Mr Westcott and Miss Highland for taking you. I know it was a late evening. Maya Barger, Penny Christie, well done for winning uh, two of her races. Phoebe Whiting, Matt V. Holotter as well. Zachary Bland, Jamie Chatfield, Toby Haston, William Nelson Bowling, Cyril Brockett Deakins, Ryan Batia, Lily Rose, Sophie, who also won her race, Dolly Morris, Jason Shee, Stanley uh, Brockett Deakins, Ethan Carroll, Jasper Wong, Zachary House, and Enzo Reed were our swimming team. Well done to you all. Tobias Van Hennigan, very good self awareness on his contribution to class discussions this week. Um, obviously, uh, had a bit of time to yourself this week, Tobias, with everyone else on the trip. Uh, I hope you go next time. Owen Courtney, a really good set of maths exam results. Well done. A great work ethic has paid off. Rory Slater had a very good end to last week. Hope that you returned from the trip showing the same diligence as Mr. Hendry. Jess Dunn, very good role model for the girls in year 10. Some excellent contributions to PSHE for Mrs. Hornstetter. And Mrs. Weston is really proud as the 10W form teacher to be receiving such good reports about their behaviour in and around the school, including... Ted Hartley's helpfulness, Will Moffat's initiative and help in the music room particularly, and the part that many pupils played in the success of the recent book fair, especially Jack, Bunny Ames, Will Hamilton, uh, Will Moffat and Turret. Archie Apron and Chris Hawkes, he had a great maths lesson recently with Mrs Lindley. Uh, Will Moffat has been helpful to Miss Foster. Ted Hartley has coped very well with the move up into the higher maths group. Well done to you, Ted. Archie Apron, Oli Kennard, Ishmael Mohammed. All of these three have worked well to complete a practice exam questions on science. Mrs Bray and Mr Marks would like to say thank you especially to Jack, Will, Turret and Will again, Ted Reese equally for their help with the book fair and well done to all of those in year 10 who have impressed Mrs Lindley with their maths, particularly Chris Hawksley, Archie Efron, Folu Ayeni and Alex Ho. And finally, from all of our staff, well done to all of the Year 11s persevering with their first formal week of GCSE exams. Keep working hard, keep believing, and the fruit of your labours will, I am sure, pay off. So uh, that rounds up uh, what's been a busy and uh, happy productive week here at uh, Kingswood House. Next week sees form teacher drop-ins. We have the Year 8 uh, IPQ sessions with Mr Brooks, my predecessor, on Tuesday and Wednesday. He is looking forward to hearing those presentations. And we have the Jubilee, Jubilee Day on Thursday in advance of breaking up for half term on Friday evening. So in the meantime, wishing you all a restful weekend.